times and say, well, you know, the government uses my tax and, um, you know, it builds roads and all that sort of stuff. That's bullshit. We build the roads. The people build the roads, right? They, they don't use the, the tax money. Or the only thing that our tax does is it goes toward paying off the debt to the International Monetary Fund. Mm. Okay, and everything else is created by the governments as, as fictitious cash, right? But we, when you hear people say, well, you know, oh, you're, you know, we're, my tax money is paying for you dole bludgers, that's not true. Uh, it's, not, it's not at all. That's, that's far from the truth. So, but the government is taking your hard labour, paying you pittance for it. You know, wh whatever job that you know we're all doing. I mean, if you're working for fifty bucks an hour, I mean, if you think about it, that fifty, that fifty dollars or those fifty credits that you get, if you got fifty bucks an hour, and you know, not many people get fifty bucks an hour. Okay, you think about that. An hour of your time on this planet, of your life, of your life, blood and sweat, and then the government comes along and takes out. 30% or whatever it takes out of that, right? And you get given nothing, you, you don't get paid in anything, right? So you get uh, you get nothing of value for it. And even if you bought something of value for it, what would you buy it with? You'd buy it with the private credit of the International Monetary Fund. You'd be buying it with these pieces not of paper. Not with your cash. Yeah. Not with yours, because there is no money. All of that, all those dollars that you think are yours, that might be sitting in your wallets, don't belong to you. They're on loan from the International Monetary Fund and you pay tax because you're using them, right? And at the end of the day, if they said they're not worth anything, you can forget it. Now, I spoke to the bank manager of St. George Bank a couple months back. And that and is the system that should be changed. Yeah. And, and I said to him, is there any lawful money in circulation? If I explain anything of value. And he said, well, of course there is. No. And I said, well, what do you own of value? And so, you know, he said, well, you know, blah, 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 blah. And I said, yeah, but... None of those things have any intrinsic value. They don't retain their value. I said, what do you have that, that retains its value? He said, well, I've, I've got a gold ring on. Right? And I said, okay, what did you use to buy the gold ring with? And he was silent because he suddenly realized that everything that we own is bought with the private credit of the International Monetary Fund. Right? And that gold ring is absolutely useless once he gets hungry. Yeah. Can't now, when you buy gold, if you go along to like a place that sells gold and silver and you you want to buy some gold or sell some gold, they're going to ask you for one of these. Right? Now you go along and try and uh, give them one of these and see what happens. Now I'm going to show you this. This is my sovereign identification. Pass that one around. That is the That is the most valuable thing that I have. It's, it's my sovereign identification. I created it myself. It's my photo. It's my real name. It's my real signature and my real date of birth, which, by the way, everyone's date of birth is hearsay because, I mean, were you there at the time? You might have been, but, I mean, do you know? Can you, can you actually, anyone here <laughs> prove that they were born on the day that you were told you were born? Right? So it's hearsay. Now, when you go along and buy some gold, they're going to ask you for some ID. I dropped that one on the table and said, here you go. They wouldn't accept it. No, sorry. I said, why not? They said, we need a government ID. I said, why is that? And she said, well, we need, you know, we need proof of who you are. And I said, well, I'm giving you proof of who I am. This is who I am. I'm saying who I am because I tell the government who I am and then they issue these, uh, these second-hand documents, okay? which say who they think I am based on who I've told them that I am. So here's my birth certificate and here's my uh, here's who I am and they won't accept it. They have to have your all capital letter legal fiction because they have to do business with the straw man. They can't do business with a, a natural flesh and blood being. Okay, And so that transaction is recorded. And if you buy gold, what do you buy it with? You buy it with the... You know, the private credit at the International Monetary Fund, which isn't yours. And so <laughs> they can just come and take back all this stuff if they want to. Mm.